The Los Angeles Rams 2021 schedule breakdown is here. I am Dalton Miller, your host, joined as always by Ian Cummings. And again, we're just going to get right into it. The toughest game of the Rams schedule in 2021. There's got to be no arguments here. It's the best team in the NFL. You know, a, a team that won the Super Bowl in 2021. Didn't lose a single starter from their 2021 championship team. That is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Ian, I mean, you agree with this one, right? It feels like we should spend more time on it, right? But there, how much time can you spend on this, right? I mean, you basically said everything. They, they got all their starters back from that championship winning team. They were already the best team in football. Uh, you know, the only like maybe Tom Brady's getting old at some point. He's got to fall off the cliff. Right. But it hasn't happened yet. Uh, it might not happen until he's 57 or 62. I don't even know. But the fact of the matter is coming into this year, the Buccaneers are still the class of the NFL. And for the Rams, who are a good team, but they still have a few holes. Uh, this could be a tough one for them. So I do think that's definitely the toughest one on the schedule. I've been marking my own uh, trying to see if I match up with the Vegas odds. And this is the first one that actually does. The Bucks are definitely the team to beat. Yeah. And you know, I, I like the, the Rams secondary, the Rams secondary against the Bucks wide receivers are going to be a lot of fun to watch, but they yeah. did lose John Johnson. They did also lose Troy Hill. It'll be interesting mm -hmm. to see how they replace those two guys in the back end. I agree. I think that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are the most difficult game. For you, what is the one game that you look at their schedule and say, I have to sit down and watch that football game? Honestly, I don't know. This was a tough one for me because there are a lot. The Rams are a team that, you know, they're going to be in the playoff conversation. So naturally, a lot of those games are going to have those kinds of implications, you know, where you want to watch because there's a lot riding on it. The one that I settled on ultimately was at Baltimore week 17. I think the Rams defense going up against Lamar Jackson and Greg Roman, always a formidable duo a schematically and the Ravens have a few more weapons on offense for Rashad Bateman, Tylen Wallace. Uh, I think that this could be a team, especially losing John Johnson and Troy Hill. Maybe that Ravens passing attack puts a little more pressure on the Rams defense. They weren't able to do it last year. Also, you have two of the best secondaries in the league going at it. Jalen Ramsey, Darius Williams going up against Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey, Jimmy Smith. I mean, the list goes on and on. So I do think that this game, Baltimore and L.A., not only does it have playoff implications, but if you're a simple fan of NFL talent, this is one you got to tune into. Yeah. So for me, I have a, a little stipulation here. It, it's for, for me, it, it's going to be the, the Packers are going to be the one that I want to watch the most coming off of a bye. But if somehow Justin Fields gets the starting job in week one, that's going to be the game to watch because I want to see. And, and it's less about the Rams at that point because the Rams should win that football game. It's more about me seeing Justin Fields go up against what I think is a very, very good defense overall with the St. Louis Ram or yeah, with the St. Louis Rams. Geez, they're in LA and they've been in LA for a while now. Um, now I was I was writing about uh, the 1999 St. Louis Rams earlier today, and so that's what's got me all screwed up. For me, the greatest it is, teams of the NFL history preview. There you yes, go. It, it is the Packers, but if if Justin Fields is starting, it's it's going to be the the Bears game there. Uh, what is for you the most pivotal game for the Rams? This is another one. It's tough. It's tough. The Rams are going to be in the playoff conversation. Implications all across the board. The one I settled on was Week 15 versus the Seattle Seahawks. And I yeah. think the Rams and the Seahawks are two teams. It's weird. Like they're, usually there's a lot of volatility, a lot of fluctuations across like how teams are competing, where they're ranking. But the Seahawks and the Rams for uh, quite a few years now have kind of been jockeying for position every year. It's like which one of these teams is going to take the crown? Uh, the 49ers kind of uh, threw a hitch in it a couple years back when they made it to the Super Bowl. Um, but usually the Rams and the Seahawks are the ones that you can count on to be in the playoff conversation late in the season. So I think that naturally the last meetup between those two teams, who gets the last laugh? Honestly, I think that's the biggest storyline to follow here. That's going to be their most defining game because ultimately that may dictate are you first? Are you second in the division? Are you a wild card team? What are you? And that game might have the most impact on that. I, I, listen, I would love to be able to disagree with you, but I, I just can't. I, I think anytime you have two teams and, and you said it, perfectly these are two teams that you just know mm -hmm. you just know that they're going to be at the top of their division fighting for that division spot and and so with that that game has to be the most pivotal game on the schedule because it is in week 15 there's only three games to go after that you have another division game after that but you don't really expect the 49ers necessarily to be competing for the division lead so you look at that seattle seahawks game right there 
Russell Wilson, Matthew Stafford. You have the, the Rams defensive line against the Seahawks, whatever offensive line they want to put out on the field to try to protect uh, their star quarterback. Um, it will be fun to watch Jalen Ramsey go up against Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf. I assume he'll probably be on Metcalf most of the time because of the physicality aspect of things. But what do you guys, the commenters, what do you think about the, the Los Angeles Rams Going into 2021, what do you think is the most pivotal game? What do you think is the most difficult? And which game do you want to see the most going into 2021 for the Los Angeles Rams?